today we will be showing you on how we created this beautiful beach themed table using acacia wood slab and liquid crystal casting epoxy. So if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our YouTube page and follow us on Instagram and you can also like our page at Facebook. Let's start! In every project, preparation is key. We started with this dried acacia wood slab with less than 13% moisture content. We sanded it down so that we can see the full beauty of this slab. Before you start doing a river table, make sure that your slab is completely dried and it is properly prepared. So we suggest you take extra time in preparing the wood slab. We then split the slab in half so that we can use the live edge for the middle of our table. We then put the slabs on opposite sides so that the live edge will be in the middle of the table. We added final touches to the live edge so that it will become um, more pleasing to the eye. Now we are cutting the edges for the final size of the table. This table will be a 6-seater conference table measuring 1.2 meters by 2.4 meters. The wood was a bit warped, so we had to flatten it again for the final thickness. Uh, we ended up with 3.5 inches for the whole table. We used the router so as you can see there are marks, uh, burn marks on the wood. But don't worry, we removed it by sanding. This is the final sanding before placing it on the mold prior to pouring. Now, it's finally time to place the wood in the mold. For this mold, we used packaging tape on an MDF board so that the resin will be easier to remove 
from the mold. Pro tip is that resin does not stick to plastic, so we used a plastic packaging tape as the sides of the table of the mold. You can finally see what the final table will look like. With this project, we will be using liquid crystal casting epoxy of Majestic Chemicals. We used some silicon sealant that will serve as a barrier for the resin. Don't forget to clamp down your project well, as the resin has a higher density than the wood, so the wood will tend to float. Make sure to secure the wood. Okay, we're ready for pouring. We're using liquid crystal casting epoxy 2 to 1 ratio, 2 parts A, 1 part B. Then we added 50 drops of our liquid dye. We chose a turquoise color for the dye. Sixty liters of liquid crystal was used on this table. This is the first layer of waves. As a liquid crystal cures for seventy two hours, this part of the waves, this part of the process, will sink down in the middle. So depending on the time, you have to add multiple layers of waves. This will give depth to your piece. Now we are ready to demold. You can see that the plastic didn't adhere to the resin and wood. So again, use plastic packaging tape. You can also use HDPE plastic mold. As resin don't stick to plastic. Now we are on the final flattening phase. This is the first routering stage of the final process. For this we did two or three passes in order to get the final thickness of the table. Now for our favorite and most tedious part, the sanding. We sanded it with 36 grit, then 80, then 100, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 2000, up to 3000 grit. The grits are depending on your preference. You can go higher or lower depending on the shine that you want on the piece. We rounded the edges for a smoother touch. For us, we feel that it's better that you have a rounded edge 
we do this for the people who are sitting at the table and wanted to feel the upper and lower edges and it feels smooth as silk. We added another layer of waves on top using liquid marble with self-leveling white as waves. I so finishing tayo ngayon sa so river table with beach design and wave frame ta. Pero hindi natin pang finish ngayon is epoxy. So bakit epoxy? Ang epoxy kasi mas industrial lang finish niya. So mas matibay, uh, mas scratch resistant, ganyan. Higawin natin siyang epoxy coating tapos imamat natin siya. Ibabuff natin ng 2000 grit muna tapos buffing compound. So panoorin yung pan natin ito gagawin and sana mag-enjoy kayo. Pakita mo yung maganda maganda natin ng mesa. Now we are at the final stage. This is the final polishing before turnover. We sanded it until 2000 grit. Then we used polishing compound mainly used for cars. Finish, you can see that it is not as glossy as an initial coat but it still has a shine on it. I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our Facebook and YouTube channel. Thank you.